In this module, we'll look at the engine and propeller systems of the Pratt & Whitney Model 150A engine for the Q400. We'll focus on operational principles and general understanding, not on technical details. Check your company manuals and documentation for exact specifications, configured options and figures. We'll look at the engine and propeller systems one by one. Here are some features of the power plant. These will make more sense later. But let's start by building an engine to see how it actually works. Connect a high-stage centrifugal compressor by a shaft directly to a turbine, also called a high-pressure spool. When fuel is burned by 12 fuel nozzles in an annular reverse flow combustion chamber, hot gases accelerate to the exhaust at the rear of the nacelle. What we have here is a basic jet engine. But we need more power. So, add a second three-stage axial compressor to compress more inlet air, directly linked by a second shaft, to its own turbine. This is the low-stage compressor and turbine, or low-pressure spool. The low-stage shaft is inside the high-stage shaft, but there is no direct link between the high and low stages. The shafts rotate at different speeds, and to minimize any gyroscopic effect in opposite directions. To convert the engine to a turboprop, add a two-stage power turbine driven by the hot gases connected by a third shaft inside the other two to a two-stage propeller reduction gearbox which drives the prop. You'll need to monitor important engine speeds. NL low stage speed is sensed after the low pressure compressor. NH, high stage engine speed, is sensed here. NP, propeller speed, here. And ITT, inter-turbine temperature, here, after the power turbine. ITT is compensated electronically to give an inter-turbine reading. Engine torque is sensed here. Torque is the twisting of the shaft between the power turbine shaft and the propeller reduction gearbox. The air intake is cleverly designed so that ram air circulates and flows in reverse before entering the compressor inlet. So foreign objects such as birds, stones and ice collect at the bottom. Opening the intake bypass doors ejects them. You should open them when you suspect intake of foreign objects, for example during icing conditions, in heavy rain, or on stony runways. In flight, the doors are normally closed. When open, the engine intake lip is electrically heated by 115 volt variable frequency AC if static air temperature is below plus 10 centigrade on ground, or plus 5 when airborne. Notice the amber heater segments on the engine intake lights on the ice protection panel. Ram air is also used to cool engine oil. There are two main gearboxes attached to the engine, the accessory gearbox and the propeller reduction gearbox. Driven by the high pressure turbine through a shaft, the accessory gearbox contains the DC starter generator used in starter mode to start the engine and in generator mode as the main source of DC power, the high pressure fuel pump to supply fuel to the combustion chamber, the oil pressure and oil scavenge pumps, part of the engine oil system, and the permanent magnet alternator, PMA, used as the primary source of electrical power for the engine control system at NH speeds above 20%. On the prop reduction gearbox are the pitch control unit, PCU, the overspeed governor, the PCU oil pump, 
and the DC electrical auxiliary feather pump. The feather pump is not driven by the gearbox. The pitch control unit, PCU, controls the propeller blade angle and speed. The overspeed governor protects the propeller from speeds over approximately 1170 RPM. The PCU oil pump increases the engine oil pressure before the oil enters the propeller system. And the DC auxiliary feather pump provides a backup means of manually feathering or unfeathering a prop if condition lever selections fail. Also driven by the prop reduction gearbox are the main hydraulic pump, part of the hydraulic system, and the AC variable frequency generator, part of the electrical system. There are two other important boxes attached to each engine. The propeller electronic control unit, PEC, and the full authority digital electronic controller, FADEC. Located near the pop reduction gearbox, the PEC is a dual channel electronic controller that controls prop pitch and speed. It also takes care of auto feather, feathering a failed engine during takeoff to reduce drag and increasing torque on the good engine during auto feather. This is called power up trim. Another of the PEX functions is detecting prop underspeed. On the Q400, there is no physical linkage between the power and condition levers and the engine. The linkage is electronic via the FADEC and the PEC. Basically, the FADEC is a dual channel computer that takes inputs from many sources. In particular, the PEC, power lever and condition lever settings, ambient conditions, engine performance, and controls fuel output from the fuel metering unit to the engine. It operates on a closed loop principle. That is, it attempts to eliminate the difference between requested power and actual power delivered. It is also responsible for indications on the engine display and logging engine performance data in the engine monitoring system accessible by maintenance personnel on the ARC2 screens. The Q400 uses the six-bladed Doughty R408 propeller. The prop is fully feathering, reversible, constant speed, and uses oil pressure and a counterweight to change to a coarser or finer blade angle. Each blade has erosion protection and electrically heated anti-icing elements. The two power levers control engine speed in the forward power range and engine speed and propeller blade angle in the idle through reverse beta range. The two condition levers set prop RPM in the forward thrust range and provide manual prop feathering and fuel on-off for engine start and shutdown. Each power lever and condition lever provides inputs to its engine's fuel metering unit, FMU, via the FADEC, and PCU via the PEC and FADEC. Let's finally mention some propeller subsystems. The synchrophase system comes on automatically after takeoff. It uses signals from the magnetic pickup unit and slaves the right propeller to exactly the same speed as the left to minimize noise and vibration. The auto feather system automatically feathers the prop on a failed engine during takeoff, and it increases the torque on the working engine, known as up trimming. The alternate feather system provides a backup means of manually feathering or unfeathering a prop if condition lever selections have failed to fully feather or unfeather. The overspeed governor has a hydraulic and electronic section. The hydraulic function cuts the high pressure oil supply at prop speeds above approximately 1070 RPM. And the FADEC electronics steps in at about 1120 RPM. Similarly, underspeed protection is provided firstly by the FADEC and secondly as a backup by the automatic underspeed protection circuit, AUPC.